Welcome to Keeping It Real with KC. I am your host, KC Phoenix. This is the final tarot energy reading, mid-month energy reading. Okay, Ooh, Aquarius, you are the last sign, but certainly not least. Where to start? Let me tell you, I have not eaten since this morning, and I am hungry in a little bit, Ooh. but I'm gonna make it through this final reading and get this out for those who may not know. I read energy, I don't read reversals. So with the mid-month reading, I will only take four cards, three main cards, and then a fourth final card for the advice is what I will do. For the pre-shuffle, I have pulled justice, and then I pulled the Knight of Cups along with strength is what I pulled in the main deck. In the clarifying deck, I pulled the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles which eight deals with work and two of pentacles deals with juggling. It can deal with, um, twos deal with, um, deal with choices. What I'm picking up from this energy is that you're working up the strength to let someone know how you feel about them. That's what I'm picking up in this pre-shuffle energy. Now, what will fall out? I have no idea. But based off of this pre-shuffle energy, it's like you're, you're working up the strength to tell someone how you feel about them. And you don't know if they're going to say yes, meaning justice, you get the good verdict, or they're going to be like, no, you get the bad verdict. So what I'm about to do is pull some cards for the mid-month energy of Aquarius. And shout out to all my Aquarians that I know personally, even the one listening to this podcast, because one of my Aquarian friends listens to my podcast. <laughs> so shout out to him. One thing I will say, Aquarius, I with this, ah, Mercury's in retrograde, so overlook my tongue tiedness. One thing I've noticed with this deck when I've been shuffling, and this is the second time this happened, the cards did not want to come together, trying to force it together. And this happened with Leo back when I did their energy reading at the beginning of February. Don't try to force anything. Let it happen naturally. That's the message I'm getting. Don't try to force anything. Let it happen naturally. So keep that message in mind. Because I always say, if it's meant to happen, it will happen. And now I need three cards for Aquarius. May I have three cards for Aquarius, please? May I have three cards for the energy of Aquarius? May I have three? Okay, you don't want to go in. May I have two more cards for the energy of Aquarius? All right. Wow, that is very interesting. May I have one more card for the energy of Aquarius? May I have one more card for the energy of Aquarius? May I have one more card for the energy of Aquarius, please? One more card for the... Okay, thank you. Wow. Lots of air energy here. Okay. First card is the Eight of Swords. This goes back to what I was talking about. You're in your head. You've been in your head. And this is past energy. In regards to how you want to handle this particular situation. And I believe it's a relationship. I believe it's, it's something involving love. And again, Eight of Swords. Swords is air energy. This is you. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And you've been in your head. And the thing with the Eight of Swords, when people are in their head with the Eight of Swords, 
usually is something that they can overcome easily that is not as bad as they think that it is. And they can usually just make it on through and, and do what needs to be done. But that's with the Eight of Swords energy. That's the past. The current energy is strength. This is Leo energy, which you might be dealing with the Leo as well. With that energy, right now, again, this card popped out a second time. You're going to work up the strength to communicate. The reason I say you're going to do that is because for your third card, it's the Queen of Swords. She keeps on coming out. The Queen of Swords is also... Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The Queen of Swords, out of all of the cards, when it comes to communication, the Queen of Swords is the most clear. They say that the Ace of Swords is super clear. I'm talking about in the, in the cards themselves with the suit of Page, Queen, King. The Queen of Swords is the most clear. Out of the three is what she is. And in, in some ways, I feel she can almost be even more clear than the Ace of Swords. But with the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords says what is on her mind. She is kind of guarded against her heart. She, she guards her heart, but she speaks her mind and she speaks her mind freely. And she is a strateg a little bit of a strategist similar to the King of Swords. But when she walks into a situation, she's walking into the situation head first and not heart first. So, and if anything, she guards her heart a little bit more than the King of Swords. But she's still willing. She's not unfeeling. It's just that she is... You have to show that you're worthy of her heart in order for her to make it visible to someone. But, and again, you, you can be male or female because this is, I'm talking about the energy. So in this Queen of Swords energy, communication will happen. You're going to communicate with this individual that you're working up the strength to tell them how you feel about them. I need one final card for advice for Aquarius. And the good thing about that Queen of Swords energy, she always seems to say the right thing. Even though it can come across harsh at times, depending on, okay, that card just flew right on out. Get this. What is this? The Hermit. So your advice is, the Hermit is Virgo energy. Your advice is go inside and reflect. Don't tell anyone. Aries got this too. Don't tell anyone. Don't let a lot of people in your ear. If you need to have a conversation with someone that you have a crush on or that you like, don't tell anyone about it. Don't seek out advice from a bunch of people. Seek out advice internally. And the Queen of Swords is a very smart woman. Again, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, I'm talking about the energy. The Queen of Swords is very smart. Go inside in Hermit and analyze everything. Weigh the pros and the cons and see how everything adds up with how you're going, how you will plan to deliver your message. That way, when you finally communicate with whoever it is that you have feelings for, they will completely understand you. Which, again, Queen of Swords energy. She, best communicator out of the three. Out of the page, the queen and the king, the queen of swords is the best communicator. So you shouldn't have any issue. But before you communicate, before you open your mouth, this is the advice. 
look inside first and do an internal evaluation of the situation before you open your mouth on that. And that is your mid-month energy, Aquarius. If any of this resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to share. Sharing is caring. And hit the subscribe button. That way you know when I upload new videos. And KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is also on Spotify, Apple, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Bullhorn, and several other podcasting platforms. So feel free to listen on any of those. And KIRWKC on the social media platforms as well. That will let you know. Um, you, when you go on the social media platforms, feel free to send a comment or, or follow or what have you. And if you subscribe, you will know when I upload new videos. So don't forget to subscribe again. My mind is all over the place because I'm this, this is the hunger speaking now. <laughs> So anyways, let me get going, Aquarius. Thank you to all of you who took the time to listen to this or watch this. I sincerely appreciate it. Until next time, Aquarius, be blessed.